exactly. I mean, these days too, like mentioning is whether it's parents or player, players always trying to play, you know, age two, three ages up, trying to get that push, but trying to also implement that it comes from within and, and it doesn't matter who's out there. I've been myself when I was playing, you know, in the East Coast and AHL going out with our power skating coach in town who has worked I've worked with her since I think I was eight years old and she's worked with many NHLers, Ryan O'Byrne and um, Matt Pettinger, all these older guys. Um, mm -hmm. But I find myself out there being, I don't even know how old I was at that point, maybe even like 28 years old and there's peewee players out there at that time. <laughs> um, you know, it's, yeah. it just all comes down to yourself and what you're focusing on and doing the drills correctly and, and getting the coaching. Um, I think that's what it all comes down to. I understand that young kids can mess up a drill, but it depends what type of ice time you are going out to and what drills you're doing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you have uh, do you have parents that are asking you to be the give show them discipline and make them work hard. And I found I found like there's a lot of parents that are they weren't give the the kids weren't getting some of that at home, so they were counting on the coach. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I work hard, get them to work hard, give them, you know, yell at them. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I'm sure. I mean, parenting is one, probably one of the biggest challenges in life. It sounds like, um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, certainly definitely get some of the comments, not too badly on that. Not too they, bad, just, good. they definitely encourage like, Oh, you, you skated them hard. Like lately we've been doing it with even the six year old. I've been skating them. We get on the line. We do a little bit of, uh, there and backs and parents love that with the older group we do the <laughs> suicide skates and uh really just i do it with them um mm -hmm. and just to prove that that i'm one of them and and i can do it too it right helps me with staying active but awesome. yeah they, they definitely encourage the yeah give them some uh give them some crap for, for that <laughs> not lifting type thing so right yeah it just comes with my personality too though i think being held accountable and giving them that little tap on the shoulder, kick in the butt to, to remind them that uh, right. well, they're here uh, to learn and yeah. to um, get better as people and as hockey players, for sure. Mm -hmm. So last question for you. Um, what was your NCAA playing career and coaching career like with, in, uh, with Michigan State? Uh, it was great. My first year at Michigan State uh, was Ron May uh, their uh, let me back up one step. Uh, the coach there was his name was Ron Mason. He was, I think he, he was at one time the winningest coach in college hockey history. I think Jerry York has overtaken him now. Uh, so he might be second or third. I'm not sure, but he's, he's still up there. Uh, he had just taken over the program uh, the previous year. And at that time it was the WCHA um, team finished in the bottom two years in a row. So my, my first year there um, we finished, very low, but by my senior year, uh, Ron had did a great job with recruiting, and we were we got we were able to get to the final four and into the NCAA tournament for three uh, consecutive seasons. So it was great to be built part of that rebuilding process and culminate into the NCAA uh, final four. So that was a lot of fun, and uh, then as a uh, from a coaching standpoint, Ron was really influential for me in helping me get uh, established in coaching. When I started, I started at Michigan State. That's when I, you know, 6,500 bucks my first year. But Ron was good enough to say, I was going to, uh, I was just finishing up my coach in my playing career. I was going to uh, try out situation with the Philadelphia Flyers. And Ron said, hey, if it doesn't work out, come on back here. We'll get you on the staff. We'll find a spot for you. And, um, so unfortunately, it uh, didn't go so well for me on the ice, but from a coaching standpoint, that's kind of where I got my foot in the door and, and was able to establish uh, and begin my uh, coaching career. Right, yeah. Obviously, just looking at your, from some of the stats that they share, tons of points. Imagine you're definitely a power play guy. Um, obviously a smart player. And also, too, it looks like you're assistant captain and captain at Michigan State, the leader. Um, you know, most of those players that are leaders like that, that want to get into coaching usually do. Um, and um, just, just from question is, 
you only had one year professionally as a player. Um, you just decided to become a coach at that point, or was there like, was there an injury that stopped you or? No, um, I had always wanted to be a coach. I, I always loved to study the game and think about the game. And I was always working hockey schools in the summertime for like six to eight weeks yeah. uh, in a row during the summer. Uh, I was around some, a lot of coaches. Uh, one of the schools that I worked at, there was like six or seven NHL coaches that came every year, college coaches, junior coaches. So just, and I was a counselor for during that time at the, at the camp. So just being on the ice with all these different coaches and being around them was a lot, was really, I felt, I found it like exciting. So it helped me to think about the game. And so I could have kept playing, I think, and um, I just didn't want to keep playing it when I felt like I was not going to be an NHL hockey player. So I um, could have kept playing in the East Coast League or gone to Europe or, or one of those types of things, which is nothing wrong with that. But in my own mind, I just wanted to move on and get things going and, and yeah. to coach. Yeah, so you did have a, a vision in mind and a goal. Um, you wanted Absolutely. to be an NHL and you got there and now you're – 25 years <laughs> into it uh, with the yeah with the National League lifestyle, how how cool that is! I've been fortunate to go to Canucks uh, rookie camp in 2008. Uh, Michael Grabner was the big uh, guy coming up, and Corey Snyder as well. Oh yeah. Um, and I went to the and Ottawa Senators training camp in 2015. I think it was. Oh, that's awesome. With many of those players, uh, I believe that was. I can't remember if that was right after their cut run or right before, but uh, mm -hmm. like Carlson and Bobby Ryan, Clark MacArthur, they were all, yeah, mm -hmm. they had a very good team at that point. Yeah. I pinch myself every day. Um, you know, to be able to coach in the, in the NHL is something that I, I never take for granted. And, you know, it helps you to show up at the rink with a smile on your face. 